we have Rosal Parnavar, the great GM here, and I have um, yeah. questions. Um, so the first question is, how many years did you study chess b until you became a GM? Okay, yeah, this is a good, good uh, question, I guess, for many people who just start to play chess, it's like a question. So how many years I need to study to become a GM, I guess, this is a small idea. Well, I became Grandmaster when I was 14 years and 17 years old. So in that moment, I was the youngest. Uh, Grandmaster in the world, but now, uh, now this, there is uh, more mm -hmm. uh, uh, kids who is uh, even young became. Don't expect some kind of miracles, but in the same moment, I think also, also it's uh, important just to progress in chess, like not like to rush. So the next question is, um, what was it like being a world champion? <laughs> ah, okay, so we are slowly going like, from GM to world champion. Well, world, well, world champion is similar, I would say, like everyone dreaming to become world champion. So for me, it was kind of similar. I remember I played uh, in 2001, 2002, this knockout tournament in Moscow in 2001. And then we had break in 2002 in January. I will, I will say that the moment of glory is kind of very short. I remember I won the championship and it was a like short moment of glory of, for celebration. But at the same moment after this, I had kind of also uh, pressure. Also in chess, it's kind of everyone expected like uh, from the world champion. Mm -hmm. to be a good example for us in place. So the next question I got, was your first coach that you ever had a GM? And at what age did you start playing seriously chess with a coach? Difficult to what, what means seriously, professionally. But about first coach, uh, I, when I started like to study chess, my first coach was not a GM. Mm -hmm. he, he was something like, the highest rating, maybe 2,400, you know. But I guess if you just start uh, play chess, you don't need to have gym uh, to be your coach as well. But just don't expect that suddenly in two or three lessons you will know everything about chess and you will become like a grandmaster. Yeah. Or, or something. So, the next question is, what do you say to players that want to seriously improve in chess, but they're all only starting chess at the age of 50 or more later in their life? So, what should they focus on to get better? I, as I told you, you should not have like illusions. If you start uh, late, it doesn't matter if it's chess or tennis or, I know, engineering. It means that you're a little bit uh, far away from the people who started much earlier. Yeah. So it's, you should not like consider it like professional. But in general, it's like you can have other motivation, which is like you want to become better, you want to play for your club, for example. And so if you just start, I guess, uh, study some, some basic principles, uh, study classical games like Anderson, uh, Morphy, just uh, enjoy chess, see the beauty, mm -hmm. learn how to make mate in one, mate in two, how to mate with queen, with yeah. queen, for example. When you already know this, uh, do a little bit more complicated how to make double check, how to pin, mm -hmm. this kind of tacticals. So the next question I have is um, at your level of uh, like your, your level, talking about opening preparation that you do, do you more focusing on uh, more popular critical lines, deep lines like the let's say the um, Grunfeld, or do you tend to find to start for novelty lines for less known openings? So which one do you focus on more? Uh, in general. I like to play a little bit of different. I like to surprise my opponent. 
uh, something like Scandinavia if I if we divide by the planet. Mm -hmm. But of course it has some biases. My next question is how to play better in wide open positions. And like some points exchange it and open lines. Yeah. It's like But I think it's actually it's easier to play open positions than to play closer position. Because in the open position you kind of know where to move your pieces this uh, the position in open so everyone knows like if there is open line you should put your rook on this line no? mm -hmm. so it's kind of uh, i think easy for me actually it was more problematic when some people uh, to ask me how to play closed position okay well, what should i do what's my plan like for example some kind of range e4 e6 d4 d5 yeah e5 and this is closed french so mm -hmm. I, I feel this is actually more like complicated if you still have some problems to play open position i i suggest you look uh, some games of anatoly karpov or Vasily smyslov and so they can show like harmony of their pieces in the open position well the next question what is the difference between a 2500 feet a player versus a 2700 feet a player like yourself? Well, I know I'm not 2700. I am with Portuguese. Actually, you can, for example, if you're checking the tournament ice lock, man, there is plenty of 2500 players and plenty of 2700. And they play against each other. Games. But I think in general, how to explain like 2500 is like a level when you just became like grandmaster yeah but you still need to learn more tricks like more psychology when you do some it means like you are it's, it's basically simple answer is like what's difference like 200 dollar points difference but yeah. what's 200 dollar points i guess because uh, the player is 2,000, maybe he studies just more like professionally, dedicate already more time for this. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, oh, well, I mean, one game, one thing, but to be stable during many tournaments as well, like accumulate this pause. Also, I, I can see sometimes like, players is 2,500, and they play against someone 2,700. There is stretch like psychology, like they afraid to fight, especially mm -hmm. this fight. I saw some players in my slogan, they just was happy to make a draw this fight versus a higher rated opponent. I guess when, uh, also there is maybe different to some 500 players, some of them just a little bit underrated as well. Mm -hmm. They just started to play tournaments and uh, sometimes you still you you don't uh, go quickly. In yeah. The it's like so you need to have a more to play a little bit more. Uh, it's it's very different to play versus like two thousand five hundred who's like forty years old opposed to play someone two thousand five hundred who's forty years old. Yeah. Hey, check this video out to make sure that you get more important information to bring your chest to the next level.